let's take a look at how to divide money amounts. It costs $31.20 for eight pairs of socks. How much does a single pair cost? Well, a single pair means just one pair. So if we know the price for eight pairs, we would wanna take that price and divide it by eight, right, $31.20, divided by eight to figure out how much a single pair or just one pair costs. All right, well, since we have a decimal here, right, $31.20, we might wanna set this up as a long division problem with decimals. 31.20 divided by eight. And remember, when you're setting this up, and of course, you can put the dollar sign here. I like to divide with just my number, and then I'll remember to put that dollar sign on my answer. Remember, you need to line the decimal point up in your answer directly above the decimal point here. So I'm thinking to myself, how many times does 8 go into 31? Okay, well, let's think about this. 8 times 4 would be 32. So it's not going to quite go in four times, so it's only going to go in three times, right? Eight times three is 24. And now we want to subtract. Okay, well, 31 minus 24 is seven. Well, eight does not go into seven, so I'm going to bring down my next place value, right, my two that was in the tenths place. And now I'm thinking to myself, how many times does eight go into 72? Or 72 divided by eight? Well, that works out evenly. It goes in exactly nine times because eight times nine is 72. Now, since I had this other zero, you can bring it down, but that means how many times does eight go into zero? Well, zero times. And that gives me no remainder, so my problem is done. Okay, well, we got 3.90, and remember, we're talking about money, so that would be $3.90. So it's $3.90 per pair of socks. A camp counselor goes to buy med kits from the local co-op. If she pays $16.80 for a total of two kits, how much does one cost? Okay, well, if we know the price for two kits and we wanna know the price for one kit, well, we would have to divide, right? $16.80 divided by two. And again, since it's a decimal amount, I'm gonna set it up this way, $16.80 divided by two. And of course, I'm gonna line up my decimal point right above the decimal point here. How many times does two go into 16? Two goes into 16 eight times, right? Two times eight gives us 16, and that's gonna leave me zero. I'm gonna bring down my digit of eight. How many times does two go into eight? Two goes into eight four times, right? Two times four is eight. And I'm going to bring down my other zero, right? And of course, two does not go into zero. It goes in zero times, and two times zero is zero. I have no remainder, so my problem is done. $8.40 for one med kit. Okay, and of course, we want to write that with our dollar symbol. And in this case, they already gave us our dollar symbol. So $8.40 per med kit. It costs $33.60 for four pairs of socks. How much does a single pair cost? Okay, well, if this is our price for four pairs, we would need to divide to figure out our cost for a single pair, meaning just one pair. Okay, so let's set this up. $33.60, and we wanna divide that by four. And of course, we're gonna line up our decimal point right above our decimal point here. Well, how many times does four go into 33? Okay, well, a little bit more than eight times because we know eight times four 
gives us 32. Okay, well now if we subtract 33 minus 32 is one, and then we would bring down our next digit of six. Well, how many times does four go into 16? Four times, right? That gives us exactly 16. Okay, and guys, there's two ways to think about it. One way, once you get to the zero and there's only zeros left, you can say my problem is done and just fill in the zero. Or you could say, well, let me bring down that one more zero. How many times does four go into zero? Zero times, right? And there's no remainder. So either way, we get $8.40, right? Even if you had just 8.4, that's the same thing as 8.40. So it's $8.40 for a single pair of socks.